Hello everyone, so today we're going to be going over how to paper cut some flowers. And here is a quick example. This is a very big piece of paper. The size that we're going to be making today will be roughly about this size or this size. So you can completely DIY the petals in any way you want. You can customize them however you want. This is just, in my opinion, a pretty easy way to do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of paper um, and we are going to fold it the hot hamburger style, excuse me, and we're going to cut it. So I have already pre-cut it like so, and we are going to make a square piece of paper like this. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and open it. And it looks like a diamond, right? So I'm facing right here. If you guys see it, it looks like this. And we're going to fold this up like this. Sort of like this. There we go. We're gonna crease and we're gonna open it again. Now, I'm sorry I'm going a little bit fast. This is sort of our basic setup and we are going to fold our square in half and feel free to pause the video whenever you're like oh my god you're going so fast now we are going to fold this up this rectangle up don't fold it like this please we're going to end up with a super 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 narrow flower and i don't know what to do if you <laughs> so please don't fold it like this so there you go we're going to fold it up like this and we're going to unfold so this part make sure you get it right or else we're gonna have a flowers and a bunch of different pieces and that's not very good. So the part that opens right here, this side, this should be on your left. So I'm doing it in your way, I'm sitting right here. This, if you are watching it, you are sort of like, this is your table front. You should have this on the left. And what we're gonna do now is we are going to, oh, let me draw a quick imaginary line here. Okay. So we are going to take this end right here and line it up to here. We're gonna move it over just a little bit and then we're going to crease. If that doesn't work, we're also gonna make adjustments. I'm probably gonna move it over just a little bit more. And we're gonna take this edge and we're going to line it up with this edge. Perfect. Now we are gonna fold it, uh, excuse me, now we're gonna turn it over and take this edge, line it up with this edge, and we're gonna crease. And as you can see here, mine doesn't line up completely right here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over just a teensy bit more. And this is again trial and error on your size of paper. There we go. That's about right. And we can always move it up a little bit more and make some adjustments. Feel free to make an adjustments. Okay, so now we're gonna put it right side up again. Here, we'll do it like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take here and we are going to draw sort of a teardrop pattern. Feel free to draw it in any way you want. Excuse me, sorry. Um, and this is just the pattern we're gonna do to make this beautiful teardrop sort of color. That's colors, that's not a color, that's a shape. If you wanna make it round, if you wanna make it pointy, if you wanna make it jagged, both, all of them work, and I bet they'll turn out amazing. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut it. After we've done that, we're going to start and do some of this pattern that you see here. Again, if you're doing your own pattern, if you're like, don't, I don't want to do this pattern, don't listen to me, do whatever you want to do, but it'll look great. So what we're going to do now is we are going to draw two lines like this. They're, kind, they're not exact lines, but they're just sort of lines to get give you an idea of what's going to happen. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut along this first line like this, but we are not gonna cut it off. We're gonna stop right here, right? So it sort of. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right next to it. Let me line these two pieces of paper up. We're gonna like this, line it up like so, and let's hope the camera focuses. There we go. And we will cut it, and this time we're gonna cut it off like this. There we go. Now we're gonna do the exact same with the second line, so we are going to cut it. Don't cut it off, that would not be good. And then we are going to go right next to it. And I do apologize if it's a little bit hard to see or very hard to see. And if you're going to make a hole or sort of a center of your flower, then you can do this next step. If not, then you can go ahead and skip it and open up your flower. So if you want to make that sort of centerpiece, we are going to take this part and we're just going to snip it off. And then there we go. We have a flower. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And if this does get, I do know this is pretty difficult if you are doing this with some standard scissors. Just take your time and these will turn out amazing. So there you go. The camera's not focusing. There you go. And those are your paper cut flowers.